Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, today I'll be doing just a quick get ready with me. Um, this is going to be a look that you can literally just th wake up, throw on, get out of the house, go to work. Um, you can wear it anywhere, it doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be priming my face with the Smashbox Primer Water. Um, I'm just going to spray this all over my face to get to give me um, extra hydration. Shake it a little bit. Okay, so that's done. Next, I'm going to be taking my Becca Backlight Priming Filter. This is going to give you that overall glow. I just rub it together on my fingers a little bit. I usually put one and a half pumps and then just put it on my face. So once that is rubbed into your face and your face is feeling, you know, a little bit tacky, then you're ready to go and put on some concealer. So I'm just going to be doing a triangle shape underneath my eyes some lines on my forehead on my chin upper lip a little bit on my nose now I'm going to take a damp beauty blender and blend it out. Oh, and I forgot to mention I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Concealer in the shade Light Neutral. So I usually blend everything out. I'll blend it down my cheeks, under my eyes, a little bit. I'll just drag a little bit onto my eyelid. notice that I did not put any foundation on because I'm just doing a quick easy makeup look where all you really need is primer and concealer to cover up your face. It's just to get rid of any discoloration while still looking natural. Now that everything is blended out, I'm going to be taking my Laura Mercier um, translucent setting powder and just baking underneath the eyes and the forehead. So I just dip my damp beauty blender in, pick up the powder.
and bake. Now I'm going to take a Makeup Forever brush. Um, I don't know the number of this brush because it wore out, but it looks like this. Taking some powder and just setting the rest of the face while still leaving the under eye cooking. So now that the face is set, I'm going to contour and I'm going to be using the Morphe M523 to contour and I'm going to be using the uh, Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I just dip it into the powder. Make a fishy face. And contour from the top of my ear down. And do the same thing to the other side. Now I'm going to do the temples, top of the forehead, alongside my nose. I don't contour my nose too much because I don't like to. but. Just enough that it doesn't look stark white with the rest of the powder. So next to bronze the rest of my face, I'm going to be taking the Morphe M527 brush and my Chanel Le Beige uh, powder in number 40. And just swirl it around. And then bronze up my face in circular motions. That way it blends your contour and your bronzer together. Then I'm going to be taking some on the top of the forehead bronzer is not something you have to be too precise over I'm never really precise about my bronzer um, next I'm going to be taking some more of that Laura Mercier translucent powder and my damp beauty blender and then just baking underneath that contour to really clean it up and I'm just gonna wipe away all that excess powder that we left baking underneath the eyes Now for blush, I'm going to be taking a very like neutral color. Um, sorry, it's going to be with my Becca Jaclyn Hill face palette. I'm going to be taking this middle color right here. 
this palette is very well loved as you can probably tell so I'm just gonna take the blush on this morphe e4 brush and just place it on the apples of my cheeks give you some color to your face Now that blush is done, I'm going to be taking some highlight. So I'm going to be taking the Nicole Guerrero Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Glow Kit. And I want to do something very like peachy. So I'm going to go with the color Daydream on a Morphe M510. So I just swirl it around okay so I'm gonna be taking the um, Mac fix plus and spraying it on the highlight that's on the brush and then just lightly in circular motions place the highlight on my cheeks and underneath my brow bone and like a like a C pretty and highlighted I'm gonna take some more do the other side Bring it underneath my brow bone. I'll bring it to the inner corner. Of my eye. Some on the tip of my nose. Cupid's bow. Now you're gorgeously highlighted. So next I'm going to be doing my brows. I'm going to be taking the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in medium brown. Um, I'm just going to spool out my eyebrows first. I have naturally thick eyebrows so I don't go overboard on filling them in. So what I'll do is usually just line the bottom and in small hair like strokes just fill in the sparse spots. And a little goes a long way. And I'll just brush it out. One eyebrow done. Next one. Line the bottom. Hair like strokes. Fill in the sparse spots.
brush it. Then I'll take the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brow gel. And buff out some of the eyebrow with it. So it looks more natural. Okay, so next I'm just gonna brush away this excess powder. I feel like I put a little bit too much blush on this cheek, so I'm just toning it down a little bit. And it's okay to make mistakes, everybody does. Makeup never has to be perfect. Um, okay. So next I'm going to be taking the Kat Von D Shade Light Palette, uh, what's this, oh this was Plum, and I'm just going to be taking this purple shade, the darkest purple, on a Morphe M432, it's like a flat um, liner brush, and I'm just going to be putting this on my lash line, my upper lash line. So this is going to give you some color with some definition to make your eyes pop. And I just kind of pat it onto my lash line. That way you get the most color payoff and you don't. If you start blending it, then it'll be um, lighter. Then I'm going to just make a little wing with the remainder that's on that brush. And you can always just dip your brush in as much as you want to get more or less color there now you have like a winged shadow okay so next I'm going to be doing the same thing to the other side so picking out more product dabbing it on my upper lash line the thing I love about Kat Von D shadows is that they're so pigmented And just a little bit goes the longest way. And I love this purple. Like, it's the nicest purple. 
Okay, so now that both winged shadows are done, I'm going to take a tiny, tiny, tiny blending brush. And I'm going to, it's the Morphe M562. And I'm going to be taking a little bit of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. And I'm going to be taking this shade Red Ochre right here. Just a tiny, tiny bit. See how pigmented it is? Like, I just like the tiniest tap. I'm going to tap off the excess and just blend some of that red into that purple. Now you may get rid of some of that purple, so you can always just go back. And like I said, this does not need to be perfect, like... Makeup is meant to be creative. To explore different looks. So now I'm going to go back in and do the other side. Sorry guys, my camera stopped recording because the internal hard drive got too hot so I needed time to cool. Um, so I just took some more of that purple shade from the Kat Von D palette and just lined it underneath my eyes with the same Morphe M432 brush. So now that that's lined, I'm just going to buff it out a little bit with this um, Makeup Forever 218 pencil brush. Okay, so now I'm gonna take um, my eyelash curler and just curl my lashes to put on some mascara. I usually just do pulsing motions when I'm curling my lashes. Sometimes I'll go over it twice just to make sure they're curled. I have naturally long lashes, but they're not very curly, so I have to curl the crap out of them. Next, I'm going to be taking my um, Chanel Le Volume Mascara in number 10 and just coat my lashes. If 
If you ever get mascara on your eyelids, I know I do all the time. I usually just wait for it to dry. And then I'll just take my nail and like scrape it off. So I usually do two to three coats of this mascara just to really make my eyelashes pop. put some on my bottom lashes and then one more coat on my top lashes Now it looks like we're wearing fake lashes, but we're not. Okay, so I have chapstick on my lips, so I'm just going to be dabbing off the excess. And then I'm going to take the ColourPop um, lip pencil in Beeper and just lining my lips. So it's a very neutral color, which is what we're going for. Um, next, I'm going to be taking this uh, Chanel lipstick. It's the Rouge Coco Shine number 94, and the name is Confident. It's like a purpley nude. It gives your lips great moisture and it looks really good with this um, lip pencil. And there you go. I'm going to just go quickly do my hair and come right back and show you the finished look. Alright guys, here is the final look. Um, I did my hair so now I'm going to go grocery shopping, um, go visit my parents, go visit my in-laws today. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this tutorial. Um, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, and if you would like some new tutorials, like if you have some new ideas for some new tutorials, please leave it in the comment section down below. And yeah, all my social media links will be also linked down below as, as well as all the products that I've used. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye!